Hello everyone, welcome to What We Witnessed. I, I recently got a link to this. Um, it's available for free on itch.io. I don't know if there's a way to pay for it. I didn't really look very hard. Um, it's a puzzle game. Um, it is sort of a fan-made, not really sequel, but you might say continuation of The Witness, as far as I can tell. Um, well, clearly it's a, you know. The Witness 2016 game, absolutely fantastic puzzle game. Uh, if you have not played it, or I guess watched through it on some YouTube video, I strongly recommend that you don't watch a YouTube video of it, and you don't watch this video yet either. You go go play The Witness. If you like puzzle games, it's it's super amazing, and you will spoil yourself by watching other people play. Um, but if you have, why not watch me play What The Witness? Um, there doesn't seem to be any music or sound of any kind, so, you know, put on your own favorite music to listen to while we chat here. Um, I, yeah, yeah, it's based on The Witness, um, and it doesn't, it doesn't reintroduce any of the, it doesn't reteach any of the mechanics in The Witness. It um, assumes you know them, and it adds new puzzles, and I guess new mechanics, although I haven't gotten far enough to check. I did play the first, like, three puzzles or something, just to make sure I knew what was going on and um, that everything was set up properly. I don't really love this menu style. Like, I don't want, I don't, can I, I can move with the mouse cursor, but it sucks. And like, I can zoom out, but then I can't see anything. I can't navigate with the keyboard. I don't know. It seems like there are a lot of puzzles. Um, I wandered over into this branch when I was testing it uh, before starting a recording, so... This is pretty simple, you know, like like The Witness, you start at one of the circles and you have to get to one of the kind of like semicircles at the end of the puzzle and follow various rules about how you can move in between. And so much of The Witness is introducing to you, um, hang on, yeah, this was the puzzle I did before, um, is introducing you to what these symbols mean and, and you know, for example, these black dots, you have to um, you have to move over each of them before you go. And Okay, so it does flash and tell you what's wrong. That's cool. So this black dot is mad we didn't get it. Um, so we could do this, and, and we would have gotten all the black dots. But now we've messed up these other rules. And So like I said, if you haven't played The Witness, I'm, I'm telling you now rules that... Part of, part of the fun of The Witness is discovering the rules, and so I'm just going to be telling you what they are, and so you should not watch this if you haven't seen The Witness. Anyway, um, the, the deal with these kind of pointy octagon things, I mean, really, I guess they have 16 sides, but they're like, anyway, is that uh, you must have either zero or two of each of a single color in each, like, region. So here we split off the left into two of these blue thingies and the middle into, into two. And in the, in the last region, the one of size 1, we have 0 of them, which is also fine. And uh, these triangles are, I guess the puzzle is called Slither Lines, Slither Links, I don't remember. Uh, we're required to pass through exactly three edges of that square. So anyway, I don't, I don't know how much I'm going to play this on camera. We'll see. It might get too hard for me. But I really liked The Witness, and I actually did spoil myself by watching it on YouTube, so... This is kind of my first chance to play something like it that, that I haven't watched. Uh, these are different kinds of dots than the ones we were just looking at, which were, these were kind of pointy dots. These are, uh, you have to just separate all the colors. So, you know, for example, this would be illegal because white and green are in the same section. But uh, something like this looks okay because the whites and the greens are separated. And I think this actually is the solution. Yeah. So we've, we've separated the, the pinks into one section, the whites into two, and the, and the greens into two as well. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is a little tricky uh, already. Um, so this is another thing we haven't seen yet in this video. This kind of has to be part of a... a group of of surrounded blocks that are the size and shape that this is. So like three dots in a row. Um, because it's slanted, we are allowed to tilt it. So it could be like that. Or it, I 
it's so hard to move the mouse. Or it could be like that. That's also fine. Um, this would also be fine if we could close it off, which we could, like so. Um, and I'm sure it'll give us more complicated puzzles where we'll talk about the other things related to that. Now, this looks... There's only one of these uh, yellow stars, and so it sort of looks impossible to pair it with, with a second. But um, you're also allowed to pair these stars with different kinds of clues in the same color. And so it's being satisfied by these yellow uh, dots. Now, we also have to... It, it is allowed... Yeah, this actually looks fine. This looks like the solution. It is allowed to group colored dots with stars of a different color. They don't really interact. So this, this should be okay. We've grouped the star with the two blue triangles. Yeah, and we've gone through the triangles like so. Very good. Um, I sort of fell into that one just trying to demo how to draw this, but once I had drawn it in this way, it seems sort of like, oh yeah, this probably will work. There's multiple solutions to this, aren't there? Yeah, for example, I could have done this. Uh, I just have to cross this thing differently. Okay, it's not telling me whether this is correct or not, but it is. I assume if I hadn't already solved the puzzle, it would say, yay, you solved it. So here, okay. Now we have multiple of these shaped things, and this is where it gets exciting. Um, you can, within a shape that you draw around these things, you, you don't have to, for example, like... I can, I can satisfy this, this dot this way, right? Um, and you might say, gosh, how, you know, the only way you could possibly group all these guys, like, how could you possibly get this next to this shape? It's impossible, right? Like, if you drew like this, there's no room for this guy to have a T, etc. Um, but within the shape that you draw, you are entitled to move around the clues as much as you want. So, for example, um, this would be a valid way... Actually, that doesn't really demonstrate what I'm talking about because um, I like that it leaves up the trail when you when you cancel out. Um, we we could put this these two dots here and these two dots here, and that's allowed, but it doesn't actually demonstrate what I was talking about. What I sort of wanted to say was, oh, how could I demonstrate this? Um, something like that. This is obviously not a solution to the puzzle, but it does satisfy these two shapes. You see they're not blinking. I've put the two dots here, and I've put the kind of T shape here. They're not near the original clues, but they're all enclosed in the same region, and you can kind of shuffle around where you put these things within the region. So we have to do that, and we have to also collect all of the dots. This is not, it doesn't look easy to me, um, unlike the earlier puzzles, which weren't very hard. Uh, this reminds me of there's a region in, in town in The Witness where you have like five or six panels in a row where you have to collect all the dots and, and accommodate gradually more and more difficult groups of these guys as well, Tetris pieces. Uh, well, if I go here, I would have to go here and here. And I don't want to go up now because then these, well, maybe you could do that. No. So I think if you do go, if you do go up and then right, you have to do at least this. And then you definitely have to pick this up and this. And now it's looking a little difficult to pick these two dots up, isn't it? Like maybe you have to go like this. And now clearly the bottom right is one of the two dots pieces. And the question is whether the spot to the left of me is the T or a two dots piece. 
How am I ever getting the dots on the left side, actually? That's a that's a fair question. This looks impossible. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's not like I can go like this, can I? Oh, I can. Look at that. No, I got it wrong. Um, so I was imagining two here and two here and then the T piece, but no, I see, yeah. So I'm still not sure that going over to here is the right idea. But if I did this, I would need the bottom right to be a two and then the part below me to be a two as well. And then I would need the T piece to include this, which is impossible. Yeah. So if you go over here, you can't go up. You have to go this way, I think. All right, can I... Can I do something like this? No, right? Because I can't go... Yeah, okay. Surely not this, right? I'd have to go this way, and it's just, like, hopeless. Yeah, okay. So if we're not going like this... Well, we haven't disproved that yet. I have to find a spot where I can put eight of these shapes, eight dots together, eight squares. And these little cutoff lines make it harder, obviously, to do so on the left. Um, is this an idea at all? No, it's horrible. Maybe I can collect these dots on the top left first before I come in and, and do something like this. Yeah, look, uh, oh, this doesn't quite work. We fit the T piece in somewhere, and there's four more spaces, but there's no way, like, you can put the T piece here, say, but there's no way to fit the two twos in here. Because one of them has to take the middle, and then the other one can't go anywhere. Okay, but going up here seemed kind of cool. If I did this... There we go. Now we've put the T piece here and the two dominoes here. Oh. Oh, I hate this. Fix this color scheme, please. The light blue on light blue on dark blue is horrible. Oh, what? Did you guys play the witness? The one you click is the blue one, and the other one is yellow. That's how the game actually works. This, I mean, not... It's not a huge deal, but like it was it they made it the opposite for no obvious reason. Normally in the witness, when you click when you do these symmetry puzzles, the one you start from is blue and the other one, the, the mirror is yellow. Oh, I really hate trying to see these these dots. So you have to pick up the, the dots that are <clears throat> blue and yellow or color coded. You have to pick them up with the right color of your symmetric pair. Um, ah, I can't go up here because to, to pick up the dot because that ruins the triangle. And I can't go through here to pick up the triangle because the blue guy has got a barrier there. Can't do this because that cuts me off from the exit forever. All right, can I pick this up at least? No, now I've made it impossible for blue to get back over. That's a bad idea. Can't go through there. I really want to go through here. <laughs> uh, I mean, going like this doesn't seem to have helped, but I guess it probably doesn't hurt, right?
Oh, oh, that's almost good, except I cut this thing off. Um, right, I was really liking this because I get to pick up the... Oh, I also broke... I broke both of them. So I went, I went too far to the side. Can I just do this? No, because there's the damn... The blue guy gets cut off. Oh, I, I really want to go up here. Does this work? It doesn't. We've tried that before. This satisfies everything except that it breaks the slither line guy. Is it possible that I'm supposed to start yellow up here? It's so hard to believe. But maybe not impossible? So as soon as I come down, I have to leave immediately. Because otherwise I'm cutting off the exit. Which means if I come down, it has to be here. So I have to pick up the blue dots and, and the triangle before I get to here. So I could do that and that. But then when I come up here, I'm blocked, right? I can't get back around. So maybe I can do them going the other direction? That dot is stopping me from... Oh, I hate this little triangle. It does almost seem like we're meant to end like this. And that putting the yellow dot near the left uh, corner is, is a trap. Can I pick up anything on my way down? Could I, for example, do this? And then go away? Oh, okay. Through here. Now I can go up and out. Ah, look at that. Isn't this correct? Why is it not blinking? What did I miss? Oh, is this just the end of, uh, of a puzzle area? So I got everything here, right? How do I know if I was correct? It looks correct. I don't see anything flashing at me. I wish it made a noise. Okay, so are we just at the end of that puzzle area? We're not. I got this wrong. But it was right. Wasn't it? So first of all, does it flash at me when I do like this? It does, right? So if it doesn't like turn everything black and flash at you, then it must be correct. And I went down like this and here over around through here. Dip back down to pick up that blue dot over here for the yellow dot and out. OK. It's correct this time. I don't know exactly what I did wrong. Click outside the window somehow, even though it captures my cursor. I don't know. Oh, man. OK. This, OK. So this is um, when, OK, first of all, what color is that? Is it the same color as the star? It is. OK. So when grouped with another clue, this thing disables one broken clue, one unsatisfied clue. So here, we grouped three cyan things together, but these guys wanted only two, so they were both upset. This canceled itself and one of the upset things, and now it's still upset because there's only one. Uh, so I guess if you wanted to put that in a group, it would have to be with a total of four. Yeah, now it canceled one of the upset ones, and the other two are happy. Okay. And it is cyan, so we... If we include it in a group with cyan thing, it'll cancel some cyan stuff out. 
We could try to include it in none of the groups with cyan stars and put it with one of these dots instead. Like, I don't know, I mean, we could make a group like this. I mean, there should be some parody things going on here, right? Obviously. didn't Because I just said, to satisfy the, the cyan thing, if it's in the middle of some cyans, it would need three of them, right? And there'd be three left, which is impossible to ever solve. So it must be that it's canceling out one of the dots and not one of the cyan stars, which means it can't be in a group with a cyan star? Is that true? That would be very impactful if so. Wow. It's not true. Mm, it is true. Because if it's in a group with a cyan star, then the cyan star already has two things of its color. And therefore, you can't put any more. So you would be including it with one cyan star, and there'd be, an, there'd be five left, which you can't break up into pairs. Ah! No, I'm wrong. It is possible for it to be in a group of cyan stars, because you could do something like that. Now, this doesn't solve the puzzle, but the point is the cyan star is going to cancel, or the cyan, I don't know, radioactive symbol, is going to cancel itself on the Pac-Man dot, and th then the two stars will be happy, right? Yes. Now, we messed up the cyan stars still by including three here. But I think this must be the idea, is to do something like this, but, but better. Like, I can't, this is not any better, is it, to do this? No. Okay, but what if I include this star instead? of that one. Now you guys on the left are happy. I have to make sure not to collect this dot. Oh, shoot. Um, but also have it be in the same region as this. So like that? That looks correct. The left region Oh, wait, I didn't close off that uh, the leftmost region. It has to come down here first, and then up, and what I was doing a minute ago, like this. No, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Make sure you include that in the region with the dot. There you go. Now the leftmost region has two of each, the middle region has two cyans, and the bottom right, this cancels the, the cyan thing, okay. So are we now done with this first row of panels? Yeah. Oh man, and there's like, oh. this is horrible. It's so hard. Um, so this is introducing a new mechanic of some kind, circles? Yes, okay. So is it about clockwise versus not? Yes, okay, very well. Uh, okay, and now they're teaching me you, you don't have to like, because what you would like to do is um, surround it like this, but you can't because there's a little thing here cut off. So they're teaching you that it just wants to be surrounded. It wants to be like, here we drew the shape in a clockwise fashion. It wants to be on kind of the right side of the line that you're drawing in a way, right? Like this, it's on the left side, and so it will be unhappy. But like this, say... It's on the right side, and so it will be happy. No. Incorrect. But this is happy? Yes. So it has to also touch the line? Is that what's going on? Okay, it has to touch the line and be on the right of it. It doesn't care exactly about the shape of the region you drew. It has to actually touch the line. Okay. 
Wait, didn't I just look at this puzzle? Is it left to go forward? So I'm on the left? This is the stupidest UI in the world. I shouldn't care which direction I branched off them. This is like, I should be interacting with a group of panels, and a group of panels should be behave the same. In the witness, they don't have to because you have a visual clue, right? You can you walk to the panel, but here I'm just presented with two arrows. And unless I remember which one I clicked on last time, or which one just appeared, like if I had my eyes closed when I was solving the puzzle, or I had a had a heart attack and was replaced with someone else, they wouldn't know which of these buttons to click. I think that is a mistake. Okay, so we can do something like this. I assume it would also be correct to go all the way to the edge here. Yeah. Okay. Ah, they put a little thing there to stop me. Um, but we can do this, right? No, that's the wrong side. You, you, you nincompoop. Can I do something here? No, it would have to be like this, because I have to be on that side of the line. Ah, like so, right? Yes. Ooh. Okay. So if I don't go to the right or down, if I come up here, I'm going to have trouble ever in in closing this guy, aren't I? It looks like I'm also learning that it definitely is allowed to have multiples of these things in the same group, right? So for example, well, this is no good because now this guy's the wrong direction. So say you go here. Can I include another clockwise glyph in the same sim, sim, uh, same area? It's a little hard to see how I could, but maybe I can do it the other way by including... Ooh, what does this do? Can I do this? No, because these two are unhappy. But these all are happy. They're in the same area. But the line that I passed through this guy on was going the right direction, so he's happy. And likewise, these guys. Okay. So I don't have to start here. There's three starting locations. But this one actually seems kind of promising, I think. Uh, not quite, huh? Because there's no way to, this, this thing below me here, there's no way to make it happy now, right? But I guess what I can do is fix it by going here first. Oh, but it's gonna be happy when I unhappy when I pass by again, right? Yeah, it's saying fine. You. Oh, also this was the wrong direction anyway. Yeah, so both times it was on the wrong side of the line. What if I started here? Could do like this. This. And from here, I kind of have to go here, right? Maybe I can dip down here first, though. No, because now I'm on the wrong side of this guy. I have to be on the outside. Actually, wait, isn't this guy unhappy with me now? I, I went around him in a counterclockwise manner? Yeah. If I start here, I kind of have to go down, I think any other direction this guy is on the wrong side of the line he wants to be on kind of the right side of the line as you're moving i guess maybe i could go this way but then there's no way for him to be on the right side of the line anymore for some reason i'm not sure how that happened 
That's not... It is, well, okay. It isn't totally true. I could do that, right? This makes lots of other people unhappy, but but it doesn't totally... It means this guy to the right of me is not totally broken. Um, so we can encompass this here. Actually, this is going to be impossible because I'll have to pass through this guy on the way out, right? And he'll be upset. You went through the right way here, but the wrong way here. So this, this is fine. But once I get here... Well, maybe I could go up. Then once I'm here, I have to go this way. And now this thing below me actually is broken because there's no way to get on a line on the right side of it without ending up trapped in this area. So if I go right, I can't go up. And I don't think I can go any other place either. I can't go right. I can go down. But I can't now go down or this thing to the left of me breaks. I can go left. But then this thing gets difficult to work with. I have to come over here at some point. I can't go down. If I go left and around, I'll be trapped, so I would have to go right. And then, fine, I can go around this thing, but now this guy's unhappy. So I don't think I can go right and then down. I can't go right and then right. I can't go right and then up, so I can't go right from here. And we can't go up. We can't go left, so we would have to go down. And I believe this is busted for reasons we looked at earlier. Can't go left. Well, yeah, I can. But I can't, I, I can go down, I can't go right. Ah, uh, but I can't come into this area because I'll have to go through this guy the wrong direction. So I have to be able to exit via the bottom if I'm coming over here. Which I can't do because then this guy never gets touched. So I, I don't think I can go down. I can't go down, down, I can't go down right. I can't go down left, yeah. I think we are actually dead if we start here. This this looked the most appealing. You can right, we, we looked at this and it's like everything is basically the right shape. It's just this one here is broken. Is there some way we can fix that? What if I went no down is no good, but I could go over and around. Up here, over. I know we haven't gotten to this one yet. I'm hoping we do that somehow. No, I can't. Well, no, I, I can't get this this thing below me because it's the wrong direction now, and I don't have a way to get back to it this way and then still get out. So I don't think going right really works. So this is a fine way to satisfy that top box, is to go through here, isn't it? But then everyone else is unhappy. Wait, why can't I do this? This guy. I went through him the wrong way. Right, that was why I tried before to go up like this, and that's fine. But then there's no way out through here. Okay, so is it possible I can start in the bottom left? It seemed kind of hard, but maybe it works.
So now I run into a problem in the bottom right corner. I'm going the wrong way around it. Everything else looks good, though, right? Oh, I got this guy wrong as well. Uh, that's easily fixed, though, I think. So wait, why can't I do this, then? I can. Okay. These are alternating. So, can I not just do like this or something? No, these are both going the wrong direction, you dummy. Right, of course, we would have to be like this. No, hang on. No, that's right. Oh, but the bottom is still wrong. I can't go this way. If you start on the left and then go through the bottom, you're in trouble, right? If you start on the left and go through the top, you're also in trouble? I don't see any way around that, actually. I just can't start on the left. It's very clear we're going to have to cross over into the other half somehow. And there's no way to do that without making the, the thing you cross through unhappy. So we must be starting on the right. And then we go through here. And it's happy. But first, I guess we touch this guy. No, I have to touch the top one as well. Like that. Oh god, you're killing me. These puzzles. So we need to ignore one of these. So, so far we're making them all happy, which is fine. Oh, I can't get to this guy, can I? The one on the bottom. But I also can't satisfy the one in the top right. Or for that matter, this one to the right of me here. Okay, so can I enclose less of that stuff and try dealing with it later? It's now impossible to satisfy the one on the top except by giving it the, the exception. So we would have to do this and then satisfy all the others, which, okay, this, but now this one's un unpossible. And this is no good because all the ones in there are, are actually happy. And we've cut it off from the rest of the puzzle. Okay, could I go over to the right instead, like this? No, everyone really hates this. <laughs> I think coming up the top left corner first is almost forced. Problem with puzzles is if it's not totally forced, like almost forced doesn't really mean anything.
Yeah. This is close, but I only get to cancel one of these. And I didn't really see another way to pick one of them up when I was coming up through here. So I think that this is a good puzzle to think about the, not about clockwise versus counterclockwise, but about being on the, the right side of the line. And in this case, we want to be on the right, i.e. not just correct, but also the opposite of left side of, of the line, right? Almost all of these need to be on the right side. We, we get one exception. So up here, and then like, I could do that. It would be happy, but I'm obviously trapped. Maybe this is how I finish, actually. Well, but then how do I get this guy? I don't know. See, here you can see I've already... I've made... Like, there's at least these two now uh, over here. They're on the left side of the line. I can make these two on the right happy, but this is no good because I, I made too many things on the left. So how do, you, how do you get everything to touch the line but also be on the right side of it? That's so hard, isn't it? This breaks twice. Well, this one cancels, but it's just this one now. Problem is if I turn early here, I break this one and I'm still in like a really bad shape for everything else, I think. Now this guy's on the left side of the line, right? As soon as I come down here to keep it on the right side of the line, I'd have to go like this. And then to avoid breaking any more, I, I've broken a million that way. And so it seems like I kind of need to do this, but the problem with that is that it breaks everything. <laughs> I end up getting two on the on the wrong side of the line. Now I've broken this one. So okay, I might ask, how do I get this guy on the right side of the line? This is just horrible. What uh, What about this? I've broken this one. And this guy's already on the wrong side of the line, right? Yeah, this this ruffles a lot of feathers. Uh, okay, I think that this is fine for a first video. These puzzles are probably too hard for me, but I'll maybe try and complete this area next episode. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.